Harris. The Thulu is coming! Forces you will be the power! Run the power! Run the power! Run the power! Run the power! Instead of burning the considering the spectral evidence. The cult of Cthulhu offers the best fringe benefits of any cult in the protest area! Where is this is dental plan! We don't have one, but we're the only ones! Instead of burning the back, bigger number of members and have been the twins. And on the local level, local groups have been sprouting up, sprouting up everywhere. And my job is to travel around the country and get these groups talking to each other, to get these groups communicating, to get these groups cooperating. We organize them in the coalition so that they can build community, so that they can have support, so that they can celebrate like we're doing here. And I want to see celebrations like this in every town, every city. Love you, man. <laughs> we are your science. We are your doctors. We are your artists and your creators. And certainly we're your musicians. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I remember this. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. Not Harry Potter was an actual being that walked this earth and destroyed the man who shall not be named with the magic and the whole thing. No reasonable person would believe that Harry Potter existed. Share the order. Please welcome Hermit. Hermit Hemant! Hemant! Yes! He's from another land and I'm stupid! Hemant Mehta! Please! You're all getting debaptized tonight! Hi, heathens! 
It has taken a lot of people a lot of years to put this event together. I hope you all have a great time. But if you go home with something to take, without something to take back with you, this will have been for nothing. You guys know the statistics. We are the least trusted, the least electable minority group in this country, but we can change that. So let me suggest a few ways that we could do that. And if you take me seriously, we can make a profound difference in how atheists are perceived and treated in America. Number one, run for public office. Do you want your child's school district to be run by free? You know, if you told me four years ago that we could gather thousands and thousands of secular Americans to the National Mall, I wouldn't have believed you. But look at you. But you know, the future is even brighter because of what the next generation is doing. Because of students like Brianne. Last year, the New York Times wrote an article about one of our groups, and they interviewed Brianne. At the time, she was 17 and didn't know what to believe. She called herself an agnostic, and she joined both the Secular Student Alliance and the Christian Club at school, saying, I wanted to get both points of view. She attended both for a while, but at the end, she stuck with us. <laughs> but you know, stories like Brianne's aren't unique. There are millions of young students out there who'd be open to the case for reason if there were someone there to make it. And that is why we need to invest in the students. You know, the late teens and early 20s is such a crucial age. Minds are opening up, exploring new ideas, and challenging the dogmas of their parents. Camp Crusade for Christ knows this. Let's reason prevail! Shout outs, folks. A few shout outs. David's going to shout out some of the sponsors. I'm going to shout out some of you tweeters that need some recognition. So, who arrived here on a bus? Woo! The Free Thought Society, a non profit education organization that provides all. That's quite a car. Of Cthulhu, the oldest and most prestigious cult in this protest area. 